Welcome back, MMA Odds Breaker. Of course, it's uh, um, Luis Palmino getting ready to fight um, Patty Schnook, right? Richard Patty Schnook coming up here. But it's really, it's really not important, right? Because you're part of the tournament, right? Aren't you yes. in the, aren't you in the tur- So you've got to prep for three fights in that one night. So I know you got to win. I know you have to put Richard in front of you and you got to think about him. But you also got to think about the potential of who you can have in the semis and who you can have in the finals. How tough is it to get ready for a tournament? Especially after you coming off of two back to back losses, it's tough, man. You know, it, you know, I'm just going with the flow right now. I, I believe in myself. I believe in all my hard work I put in. In both t- tough battles that I had with Gagey, I got close, and in the second fight, I got even closer. You know, yeah. so it's not a, a matter of I was going in there and I was just getting beat up. You know, so that gives me a sense of uh, confidence where my confidence level has not gone down, you know, and I'm still well prepared, well conditioned, and even better now for this tournament. You know, it's only it's only a matter of time till I get that shot again. Uh but Tishnak is not of a matter. It's not it's not of a matter who, because there's so many different people there that I can be facing. So all I know is I'm fighting three men and I'm willing to knock them out, each one of them, man. I'm I'm looking for a knocker in every round, looking for a quick finish. Well here here comes another question then. So you win this tournament and then you get a immediate title shot, which means then literally within six fights, yeah, within six fights, you would have fought Gaethy three times. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's, a lot of, that's a lot of work to get back to the title. But then it's like, what happens if, let's just say worst case scenario, you win the tournament and then you lose to Gaethy again and he's still the champ. What does that put you in limbo, though? Because it, it's kind of like, even if, if you that, work your way back up again, they can't put you in there again. Yeah, if, if that was to happen, if I was to hit a third hit, a third hit and miss, then I would definitely go down to 145. You know, if, oh. if that was that was to be, I'm, I'm, man, I walk around 169, 168. I'm a small 155. Yeah. You know, if not average, I'm a small 155. Right. Most people always telling me, why, why the hell are you fighting with this big dude at 155? Because I really don't care about size. I never cared about who's in front of me. I never cared about how tall you are, how strong you are. I never cared. You know, I have a, a heart of a warrior, and that's how that's how I fight. I don't care. I just feel good at 155. I feel strong. I feel great. Um, I had a past experience at 145 when I wasn't experienced at all in, in weight cutting and stuff like that, and it didn't have the best time of my life. You know, I didn't feel energized, I didn't do things right. Okay. You know, the weight cut wrong. I wasn't, you know, I was new to it and I did it wrong. I know at this level now, you know, after 34 professional fights, nine years in the game, I, I would do things the right way if that was to come. You know, so if I was to hit a third and miss, only that way, only that way, I would okay. drop to 145 and explore. So we talk, let's talk about money because I, I actually interviewed Ray Seppo, the president of World Series of Fighting. And we talked about, you know, how tournaments like this actually help the promotion out. One, you get a lot of you get a lot of push. There's not many tournaments anymore. You get a lot of media attention. There's a lot of people now going to interview you and ask you about who you might fight in the semis or who you might fight in the finals. But also the overall pay for uh, the overall purse that, that the company has to pay out to fighters is a lot less because you're going to make whatever's in your contract for fight number one. And then you get like a ten thousand dollar bonus for fight number two, and then you get like a twenty thousand dollar bonus if you win fight number three. So it's like, but it's not the actual amount that you get paid, you know, every time you fight. Like you should, so let's say for example, I'm just using numbers. I'm not, I don't know the exact numbers because Ray wouldn't give them to me. I'm just saying, so you get paid thirty thousand every time you fight. Well, that's ninety thousand dollars they should have to pay you. But the way it's set up, they're only going to have to pay you uh, fifty thousand or sixty thousand dollars. So it's like, well. They're making they're making more money, you know. They're, they're not spending as much money, so the, the, you know the fights are the same rate. Like the fight still hurts, the training is the same, nothing changes, but the purses are a little bit less. So, from that mindset, are you like the tournament's still worth it, even though the pay's not going to be the same as getting, say, three fights over six months? In my case, man, I'll tell you the truth. If it was about the money, I wouldn't be in the tournament. You know, in in my case, in my personal situation. You know, since we can't discuss discuss numbers, let, let's let's yeah. say like this: I would be making a lot less in this first fight of the tournament. You know what I mean? Okay. Compared to my actual contract. But having that said, in my personal uh, view, this tournament is just a, a way for me to stay active. I've, I was oh. in great great shape. I didn't get injured in my last fight, and I just was not going to sit down for four to five months to fight again. Right. You know? So you know, the opportunity presented itself. Another shot at the title for the winner. Get some cash. I, I want to fight, man. You know, I'm 35 years old right now, bro. You know, I don't feel old. I don't feel like I'm slowing down at all. Right. That's not the case. But I do want to stay active. I don't want to take five, six months for a fight. So when the opportunity presented itself, it was all just about staying active. You know, and let's not forget, too, that that your fight was, would be 22 days? 
from the your last fight to your next fight. I mean, and then you're going from, you know, you fought you fought uh, March, September, and then you're going to fight three times in November. Essentially, I mean, you could you could only fight once, one more time, but you could end up fighting three more times. That's a lot of work. That's a lot in a, in a short period of time from March until November to, to you know to bang out uh, five fights. And you're saying you don't feel old, you don't feel, you know, you don't feel like you're slowing down at all, but the training's got to be getting, I mean, you're 35, the training's got to start wearing on you a little bit. You know, training camp's got to get a little bit, a little bit more, you have to be a little bit smarter in your training camps. Has, has anything changed, you know, over the last year? Yeah. Um, conditioning wise, you know, experimenting with new conditioning trainers in, in my last few camps. And I want to thank, you know, um, John Kelly is one of my, uh, uh, old training partners. The guy, you know, runs a CrossFit gym near me, well, near where I used to live. And uh, he's been helping me with conditioning training for my last few fights, and I felt great, you know. Um, having that said, I moved, my, my gym moved, so I had to, like, hire a, a conditioning trainer that had the time for me and a place where I can reach, you know. And, and yeah. I'm very good person. His name is uh, Amir Pareda, and we're doing great work. And you know, he has a lot of experience with professional athletes, like football players, basketball players, you know. And uh, we're doing a great job in... I think it's, it's it's just getting smarter with your training. You know, I don't I don't spar as much as I used to. Like as to before, I used to spar like three times a week, and like at a hundred. You know, um, I stick to my sparring partners that that want to work, that want to improve. Like Ricardo Lamas, for example, we're getting yeah. ready to. Get you know, he fights the day after me. Uh, I have a whole lot of other training partners here. We we MMA Masters is such a family oriented place that we really take care of each other. I think that's a big a big big role. In uh, preparing for a fight and avoiding injuries, yep. you know, not always being with somebody that's trying to prove something can uh, take care of your body, you know. And uh, it's just being conscious of, you know, what you're putting in. You know, I'm, I'm eating a lot healthier. You know, I'm eating a lot cleaner. I'm not in a diet. I just eat cleaner. You know, okay. and I stay lightweight without even having to start myself in any shape or form. I eat great. I just eat good. I eat organic. Even my shakes have changed everything, you know. And uh, I think it's just how you take care of your body, man. I mean, I'm taking I'm taking good care of my body, and I feel great, man. If I was to feel like I'm slowing down, I'll definitely take the break. But I feel great. Well, good luck in the tournament, man. I think it's going to be it's it's interesting for me because I love tournaments. I love that action. I want to see how uh, things pan out. And, and there is a situation where you could lose, and a guy on the other at other end wins, but he's hurt. So they, then they go to the guy that loses of that match. And if he doesn't want to continue, they cross over and ask the guy that lost on the other side. He wants to come back in. So it is possible that you could lose and still end up making it all the way to the finals and fight the guy again that you lost to. So it's quite possible that you could cross over, lose to somebody, cross over, get all the way back in again, and then, and then end up having to fight somebody that, uh, that you already lost to in the tournament. So it's a very interesting setup. I like how things are working and I can't wait to see it, man. Thanks so much for coming on here and good luck in the tournament. We'll talk again soon. Thank you, man. Thank you for having me once again, man. I appreciate it.